हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज संजय कुमार क्रिएटर ऑफ सेलेक्टर्स ऑफ एंड एस के सी स्टूडियो रिक्वेस्ट यू इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल सो यू डोंट मिस एनी अपकमिंग अपडेट्स और इनोवेशन ऑन सेलेक्टर्स ऑफ एस के सी स्टूडियो और एनी न्यू इनोवेशन और टूल फ्रॉम माई एंड हाउ टू कस्टमाइज दी सेलेक्टर्स ऑफ यू आई लाइक टूडे वेन यू ओपन सेलेक्टर्स हब यू सी अ लॉट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन आर देयर which is really useful from the learning perspective and for the beginners those who want to see and those who want to learn like what all selectors are possible what is what kind of this element is like if this is a normal element so then it shows that this is x path then it shows all possible selectors for this inspected element like you if you scroll down it will show all of them or better you expand it there is a expand button as well so you see that there are like uh, pretty much all the information is available here that this element could be located by all these kind of selectors but in reality like when you work in uh, like actual job when you write automation script you don't need all these uh, all this information when you actually an expert so in that case like lot of people and lot of uh, community members required that we want to custom, we want to have an option to customize this one like we don't want to see this tag name someone doesn't want absolute x path many people those who are not working in javascript they don't need js path jquery so in that case like how can we customize so that we just get the information we take the information whatever we need we don't want to see all this information so for that considering that feedback considering the, the need of uh, this feature i have add, introduced this ui customization feature here click on this button here click to customize ui this wheel icon click on this and now suppose whatever you don't want here you can scroll so let's say you don't want tag name you don't want absolute x path doesn't need partial link tag name class name whatever you don't need so of course you can customize according to you and uh, now if you go back click again on the same icon it will uh, take you to the home screen so this is how you see that now you how neat and clean you are you are getting whatever selectors you need you got them here then suppose you don't need this toggle button here because many people like uh, on a day to day work they don't need it like okay uh, once i did the setting like i i want to turn off these auto suggest here uh, then in that case i will just turn off this and then i will turn off this one let's say not this one of course because this will uh, turn off the auto generator mode so suppose you don't want to see all these toggles here and this uh, uh, case insensitive button here in that case you can also customize them ui buttons here click on this you see that they have gone this button also gone now go back this is very clean so this is how you can customize these selectors hub ui and next time you will be thinking like again i will have to do that no this is one time setup only required so next time when you will open selectors hub this will open selectors hub will open your with your default settings whatever you have done so now you see that this is very clean if you will inspect any element here in the selectors hub so this will show you only your selectors suppose you want to uh, like uh, today when you verify any selector here when you write here selectors and uh, we have turn off this one so also make sure that what settings you have done so sometimes like you have turned it off and then you start writing here and you feel that it is not showing the auto suggest so uh, make sure this is turned on when you hide it because you see that auto suggest it used to give selectors of gives you uh, the auto suggest as well so let's go back here so here when you verify your uh, x path or selector selectors have used to give you one ss selector which is uh, auto suggested selector from the selectors hub for your x path so basically this is the css selector for your x path and this is the unique css selector but you don't want to see this one like whenever you verify your x path you don't want to see so what you can do just uncheck this one and go back now when you will verify your x path you will not see that as a selector here so suppose you are writing any x path here you will not see that so this is how you can customize the selectors of ui according to your need of course this attribute filter you can turn it off from here you don't want this toggle as well just go back turn it off 
and you see that this is very neat and clean UI here. Now inspect any element, you will get very clean selectors, whatever you need as per your requirement. In fact, you doesn't need index XPath ID, that also you can customize. Just uncheck and now you will get only CSS selector relative XPath. That's just so clean and so neat. Now it will be very helpful, very easy for you to get the information. Just copy this, use it in your automation script. At any point of time you feel that uh, I don't remember what all uh, settings I have done suppose tomorrow you came and uh, now you want to learn something you want to explore more you want to learn each and everything about the element inspected so you don't remember what all settings you have done so there is a reset settings to the default button just click on this it will reset your selector sub to the default setting of selector sub so you will get all the all those information here so i'm sure this will help you a lot and this will be this will make easy for you to save more time to get the right information the information which you required please let me know in the comment section how much you like this feature how it is going to help you in your work and if any feedback any suggestion feel free to let me know you can uh, if you find any issue anything you can raise it here click on selectors of logo here on the toolbar you can raise the issue here on Bagar Sura GitHub. You can connect on Slack, Telegram. Also, uh, I would request you if you feel that Selectors Hub is helping you in your business, in your job, please consider a small donation. Be a patron here. You can uh, check out uh, multiple ways are there. You can support me. Also, I would request you that many people are still not aware about Selectors Hub, Test Case Studio. Please share Selectors Hub if you have YouTube channel, blog, Please write great tutorials on selectors so let uh, together help help the community and let people learn about these new concepts these new innovation thank you and please like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any update thank you thank you so much